Good morning, good morning. Ain't this a bitch? You know, you know, I literally thought I hit this fucking record button. I did not record shit. So, here we go again. <laughs> also, the life of a father, man. Uh, my first recording, uh, my daughter just so happened to wake up. She, I normally don't wake her up till 8 o'clock because she ain't start school at 8.45. She just so happened to wake up early and come interrupt my first video. Not used to her waking up. I usually got to wake her ass up. Um, so I, I re-recorded, well I thought I re-recorded, and I just realized I never even hit the damn record button. So anyway, uh, ticker of the day, J-I-L-L, market cap 17.63 million, perfect, meets my criteria, float 17.34 million, perfect, meet my criteria, it's trading roughly 46 million shares right now, um, but, you know, pre-market it had this nice run. Market opens, it squeezes. Um, I wanted to buy uh, the pre-market break of 111. It did break 111. I got an execution of 108. Um, took a half a position size um, because of the market conditions, as I stated in the last video. As you can see here, run uh, pre-market, market opens, comes down. Same thing here. Run pre-market, market opens, comes down. That's been the state of this market. Um, it's not catering to uh, my strengths or uh, what I... Uh, my strengths or my particular niche um, I just explained this twice in a row this is the third video I'm recording uh, September 1st 2020 um, so I just want to get straight to the point um, took a minus five today um, sticking to my plan and respecting my risk that's all I can do um, this is the cost of doing business all traders take losses um, all traders go through streaks of losses it's about maintaining your losses um, until the market um, reverses back into your favor. So right now the market is not in my favor. Um, so it's just a patience game to wait till the market is back in my favor. Um, and it, it could be at any given point um, when the next hot trend hits like coronavirus, when when that hit all these coronavirus stocks related, we're just running 200, 300, 400%, which causes a chain reaction in any particular sector. Um, and so they start running everything that revolves around uh, the particular um sector like coronavirus per se um everything starts running in sympathy to whatever the big main play is um and i we haven't had one of those um since uh june and july so it's just a patience game um this could be a potential morning spike reversal but honestly i just don't trust morning spike reversals right now because of the state of the market and as you can see because this is live um it's gonna it looks like it's gonna break this top right here right here and if it does I mean it could potentially run but just the state of the market I don't even want to trade it um, I use one day trade I've stuck to my plan pre-market breakout only at the open um, as far as right now I don't really care to trade morning spike reversals which is roughly what you're seeing happen right here um, because of the state of the market and they just haven't done anything for me um, in the last couple weeks um, Two day trades per day. Um, I only took one because, like I said, the state of the market, I don't feel the need to even take another one. I'm already down minus five. Um, don't feel the need to take another one. Um, 50 million market cap. This meets my criteria. It's under 50 million. Uh, under 20 million float meets my criteria. Um, float rotation um, at 17 million share float in pre market, it traded about 8 million. And then when it actually broke, um, it traded about another. Uh, 2.2 um, so it did actually um, so 13 plus 8 so it did trade over 20 million shares so it did rotate the the flow did at least rotate one time um, but through my data I've noticed that if it rotates three times the shits more in my favor to run than if it rotates three times less okay so it runs two times one time or less than one time um, it doesn't really have the strength I need for it to run um, where I could collect the profit that I truly would like, um, you know, and that's uh, plus 13, but I could collect plus 13 multiple times in, in, a, in a particular intraday chart if, it's, uh, ha if it has the strength that I would like, which usually when it's rotating three times or more, um, it has the strength that I like for me to collect uh, plus 13 two or three times in one particular pattern. Um, 
So yeah, minus five, stick to the plan. This is a long-term game, long-term process. Um, this is the cost of doing business. It's just business. That's the business I'm in. Um, you know, we all take losses um, and we all take streaks of losses as traders. So, you know, it's just it's just a business. This is not discouraging at all. Um, it would be more discouraging if I was forcing trades, but trading psychology, I studied a lot of trading psychology to understand it's all up here. It's all a mental game. Um, and if you allow yourself to be defeated by uh, small incremental losses, because the reality of it in the long run, you are going to lose. Um, the top traders that I follow roughly win 60% of the time. So that means they're winning six out of 10. They're losing four out of 10. And, and, and that's in the long term. So, I mean, they do go streaks of losing um, in weeks and in months. Um, so for me, this isn't discouraging at all. It's just, a, it's just the cost of doing business. And as long as I maintain these little paper cuts of minus six or under minus six, which this is minus five, um, in the long run, I'll be just fine. Once the market turns back into my favor, um, you know, then, then that's when I'll be catching those green streaks. Uh, right now, it's not in my favor. And it's just something I got to live with. So stick to the plan, stick to the process, minus six plus 13. Um, this definitely could have been a huge loss um, if I was, you know, if I wanted to be some kind of bag holder. I could have definitely took, a, you know, a, a huge loss from 108 down to here, 400 shoot. I could have took a 25% loss compared to a 5% loss. So again, um, stick to the plan, respect your risk. Um, this is all part of the process, man. This is all part of the process. And I'm glad I'm recording these videos because it's allowing me to even see this when I review them and play them back that, you know, the, the market just isn't in my favor. Also, uh, Monday did not even execute a trade at all because this is what I've been seeing. Run, market open, uh, pre-market run, crash. Pre-market run, crash. That's what I've been seeing, man. So, you know, that just tells me the market isn't in my favor at the moment. So I didn't even execute a trade yesterday. Friday didn't get to record a video. Um, I wanted to take a uh, take the morning off from trading, um, so I didn't come to the market till about 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Um, seen a nice intraday low flow runner. Um, had an intraday break at 4:34, um, and then when it broke the fives, um, it's always um, whole dollars are are great signs for support and resistance levels. So when it broke through the five. I, I purchased it at five, a half a position size, so about 100 shares. It ran up to 581. Um, I would have loved to capture that at 434 at the initial break, but I missed it. And um, it did have a nice squeeze of 81 cents, which is beautiful, but it just didn't meet my, um, my exit target for profitability. Um, so I winded up taking, once it squeezed and it dropped, I just basically cut it. I believe I was minus 2% a little over minus 2%. It was like minus 2.7%. Um, didn't get a chance to record a video on that. Um, uh, but again, I believe this is like day seven or day eight of my journey. And it's just been a shitty, horrible market for my particular niche. So it's just a patience game. It's patience, patience, patience. Just wait for the next opportunity to present itself. Um, just wait for the next big runner and whatever sector that's a part of, you'll see all these sympathy plays and shit will start popping off just like it did in um, June and July with the coronavirus stocks because um, those were two beautiful months of non-stop runners. And now we're in a state of the end of that trend. Um, and since we're in the end of that trend, um, it's just a patience game to wait for the next big trend. Um, so that's all, man. Stick to the plan. Stick to the process. Uh, minus 5% today. Um, uh, that's all I could do, man. Stick to the plan. Uh, stick to the process. Continue taking these small losses until the market reverses back into my favor. Um, again, um, my plan is to take two trades per day. I took one because of the conditions of the market. Um, because of conditions of the market, I'm taking half position sizes because this could have very well been a 10% um, loss today if I would have had a whole position. Um, so, you know, everything I'm doing, I'm doing the right way. It's just a patience game, and that's what I got to do, man. Focus on one ticker. I did that. Ticker met my criteria market cap, met my criteria in float, uh, met my criteria with damn near everything, even this beautiful chart, um, because I spotted this. It came into the market when the chart was about looking like that. So that's beautiful. I want to see that. Um, but then it just winded up failing, and do 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 do. 
and then had a nice squeeze here and then failed. Um, and you could also see the volume dropped off completely. The blue is the volume, dropped off completely. Same thing you see over here, blue is the volume, dropped off completely. State of the market, man. Nothing I could do. I can't control the market. I can only control what I do uh, psychologically. Um, I have been doing excellent compared to when I first started this journey. So uh, that's it for today, man. Uh, minus 5% loss. Still have two day trades in that account. Um, everything met my criteria. It's just the state of the market, man. That's all it is. Um, patience, patience, patience. Wait for this shit, the market, to turn back into my favor. And, and cost of doing business, man. That's all it is. So that's it for today. You feel me? Um, first day of September. Let's see how the rest of this month plays out, all right?